Oh my. Hey there everybody, this is Guy from My Tennis HQ and today I'm going to be sharing with you my take on the Wilson Clash 100 Tour. I was able to play with it yesterday for the first time and I was pretty surprised by how it felt. Uh, it was extremely hot outside, we get 100 degree weather in, here in Texas so uh, the overall experience was pretty brutal but um, I survived to tell you what I felt about it. So I was a bit skeptical before trying this racket. Um, I had read a lot of things about it. I heard some mixed opinions about it, you know, with all the hype, I didn't really know what to expect. And I mean, looking at it, it looks like a good racket, but it kind of also looks like the type of racket that it's <laughs> they'll sell it at Walmart as well. So I had very mixed feelings going into it, but I gotta say that I was just really impressed. Um, from the first hit, I thought it was a very, very solid racket. Um, it was much different than what I'm used to when I think of Wilson's. Um, you know, kind of that the flat hit, um, a little bit difficult to add topspin, but this racket actually um, has it all, to be honest. Um, I was able to add topspin and whenever I wanted. I mean, I definitely had to <laughs> work for it as well, but um, I did get the reward if I put in the effort. Um, but at the same time, uh, I could just, I, I mean, I was able to just step in and hit those flat shots and take time away from my opponent as well. So um, very, my first impression it was, was pretty good about it. So in terms of power, I felt like it was a, a pretty solid racket. It would give me more power than I was expecting. Um, you know, it, it's that kind of racket where you do need to kind of hit the sweet spot, even though the sweet spot is kind of large, but when you do get it right, you can get a lot of power out of it. Um, I did feel like it was a little bit challenging to add some add top spin to shots. I did have to hit, especially on my forehand side, um, hit it near the center to get as much power as I wanted, but um, I mean, obviously if you compare it to a Babolat or I don't know, even I guess my Yonex, you don't get that much power, but you know, it's, it's quite a solid racket when it comes to power. In terms of control, I thought the Wilson Clash was, was extremely solid. Um, I got some good hits, whether both of my forehand side or backhand and it was extremely solid. I was able to get some nice rallies. And one of the shots that I actually enjoy the racket the most were those shots that land near you and you just gotta shorten it and kinda just put the ball back in place. I personally struggle a good amount with those shots, um, especially when I had my babolet. You know, I felt like I had no control over those, but um, the Wilson Clash was perfect for those shots. I just felt like I st like was able to stand my ground and just kind of block the racket, block the shot back. And it was actually, I was able, actually able to get some deep shots and, and pretty consistent and not letting um, my opponent attack me. In terms of maneuverability, I would say it was a pretty decent racket as well. Um, I stood at the net and asked my opponent to, to rip some shots at me and I thought it was pretty solid. Um, I had good control at the net. Um, my volleys were consistent. I even felt like I was able to, to get away with not moving my legs that much. But so I would say I was, I was positively surprised by how maneuverable the racket was, considering it does have a little bit of a, of a thicker beam um, and a, quite a, a pretty large head size. Finally, in terms of, of touch, um, I would say I did in some occasions feel like I did not get as much touch as I needed. I, I did sometimes in terms of drop shot. Um, I wish I had gotten a little bit more of, of a little bit more feel um, with the with the Wilson Clash. 
it wasn't the worst racket ever by any means, but uh, I could, I would have liked to see a little bit more touch um, with the clash. On the forehand side, it honestly felt pretty good. Um, I was able to hit flat shots when I wanted to, and I was able to hit heavy shots with topspin when I wanted to. Um, normally, I would think of, of Wilson as a racket brand that it, it might be a little difficult to add topspin to shots, but uh, this racket surprised me a lot um, in that sense. Um, uh, granted, I mean, if you compare it to a Babel at Pure Aero, um, you won't be able to get that much topspin. Uh, but it did give me enough enough topspin that um, I thought it was it was a racket that would fit my game pretty well. The one complaint I had in the forehand side was that even though this racket has a a pretty large sweet spot, sometimes I felt like I was I was. Mm, just quite not hitting it. Uh, I felt like when when shots were coming close to me, I wasn't able to you know fully hit the ball um, in the sweet spot, hit it in front, uh, which made it my shots not really um, turn out as I wanted them to. Um, I ended up with kind of a, a, a lukewarm shot rather than either a topspin or a flat fastball. On the backhand side, I was extremely and positively surprised. Um, I was able to hit, I mean, having a one-handed backhand, I was able to hit some very heavy shots. Um, I was able to hit angles as well, and I mean, the fast, flat backhand, I mean, those were that racket, just like any other Wilson, it was, it was pretty great for, but um, I thought it, it gives you a lot more options than just hitting that flat backhand, so. Uh, obviously, with this racket being so flexible, um, it felt pretty comfortable to hit those uh, heavy, high top spin shots. But just at, at the same time, I could step in in the next shot and, and take some time away from my opponent. So um, that was extremely um, surprising, and, and I was very pleased with it. When it came to slicing, um, I mean, Wilson, in my opinion, is the best brand for slices. So this racket obviously uh, did not disappoint as well. Uh, I'll say that obviously it's not as good as a, a blade, but it did not lack in any means. Um, I was able to get into some really long slice sequences and I was able to control it even with, with the depth pretty well. I got some long um, slices, some, I was able to hit some short slices as well, bring the opponent in and it obviously felt pretty comfortable. Um, I did not have any issue. I have a lot of control. I didn't see the ball kind of um, just flying too much. It was, it was, it was very nice and, and very good if you have a slice as a big component of your game. Uh, I've seen some complaints that you know, you'd have to, to drive the volley a lot with this racket. You can't just block it. Um, it would make the, I've seen people saying that it will make the shot kind of just just die in your record, but I thought it was it was extremely great. Granted, it could be because I'm normally playing at a f quite a fast pace, uh, so I, I do have that pace in the racket to kind of just um, use it in the shots. But if you're if you're playing at a slower pace, I could I guess see how. You know, you would have to drive your volleys a little bit, but to be honest, I thought it was a, a pretty great racket for for volleys. And so, if you know, you're just used to playing doubles, I think you can um, you can get a lot out of the Wilson Clash. So overall, I need to admit that the Wilson Clash 100 Tour is an excellent racket. Uh, I came in with pretty high expectations, but they were definitely met. I do need to say as well that probably when I was trying to play professionally or in college, I think that this racket would have lacked a little bit in terms of, of what it could give me, but um, nowadays I think it would be an excellent racket. Um, I even think that I would consider changing to, to this racket because my Yonex has been giving me some pain and this racket is very arm friendly. So. I think if you're playing at a very high level, the 
a Wilson Clash might not be the right racket for you. You might need something that will give you a little bit more. But if you're just a weekend warrior and you play over the weekends and, and you want to have a, a long-term um, goal of not getting injured, I think the Wilson Clash is will help you take you to the next level and you know keep your arm in good shape. So uh, that's my take on the Wilson Clash 100. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see a review on any other record, let us know uh, in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.